I remember one meeting I was in, this was maybe the very first job I had at a junior level at an organization that was looking to quote unquote, help the Africans, where someone said something to the extent of these Africans are dropping like flies in response to a discussion about uh, Africa and, and disease burden. And while I understood that that person was coming at it from a place of, of care, the language startled me. And that was this idea that the narratives about Africa, however much they are constructed in the, in the vein of wanting to help, oftentimes use language that is fundamentally dehumanizing or that categorizes the continent as a place of despair, a place where there just isn't any hope, a place where everything is disorganized, chaotic, chaotic and just terrible, um, and that we have to go and fix. And for me, what became really important was this idea of narrative and how does narrative shape the way that we think about a continent and how powerful narratives can be. And for me, one of the things that the Africa Center does and spends its time doing is really trying to work on those narratives, to reshape those narratives and use new narratives about the continent of Africa, complicated narratives, complex narratives about who we are as people, the good, the bad, the amazing, the interesting, maybe the not so interesting, to create a picture of a continent that is real, with people that are real. So that's why I do this work. That's why the Africa Center is really important to me. And that's how I think we're going to impact and affect millions of people across the continent.